Okay, so what do I do now? I've got I ate the magic cake. Um, I think I go to the museum next. I think that's the next step. Be nice if I could get some money though. Cause I could use some money. How much do I have on me right now? Twenty five hundred. I need nine. I need. Four nines worth of money? So, yeah. Go ahead and save. Yes. I think I already talked to this dude, didn't I? the creepy music that indicates to me that that's something important. Alright, so I remember... You wanting some kind of gem? This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. Oh, the samurai kid is here. So, even the dudes know who this guy is now? Will he be giving me that gem? I don't know, Kenji. Do you want to give him the gem? No, I do not. This is a cultural treasure of Delon. Then I guess we'll say no. Excuse me? So, what he just handed me is not a gem. Ha ha ha. I'm going to really enjoy the cookie that I just got. But wait, I, I did not want to give him the gem. Just go along with it, it's okay. No, I, I did not want to give him the gem. You do not understand. No. Let's pretend this conversation never took place. Well, I'm pretending. You go on in. I did not want to give him the gem. That was a priceless heirloom of the Delami legacy. Delami? It's not Delami's. But I don't know anymore. He took my gem. It's okay, buddy. We'll get you a new one. Don't worry. Alright, well, this is interesting. Nope. Oh, those things move. Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. <laughs> the other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. <laughs> he, he took my gym. We know. We know, Kenji. It's okay. It's okay, little buddy. And now we're going to get attacked by the Shattered Man. And we're going to freeze him. And we're going to spy on him. And we're going to mirror him. Alright, body solidified. Vulnerable to paralysis, okay. Could not turn into the Shattered Man, alright. Well, let's paralyze him, I guess. And let's freeze him again, and do you have any nice weapons? Not really. You might be able to slime him, though. As for you, I guess we'll have you use... Uh, weaker version of Freeze. Or not, because he's already done. Okay, we got some levels. Fire, fire Gamma, that's good. Kenji getting them levels, wow. Uh, I wanted to check it. Kenji read the hieroglyphs, because he can do that even though he's from China, India. And these are obviously Egyptian-inspired. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile, and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Skaraba. The 
the invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark, and is even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded, it is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Four, three, two, five, in a weird pattern. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Okay. Uh oh. He's got an idea. Fox, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. Okay, so we need to get to Scaraba, but first we need to kick this guy's ass. I'm guessing you're probably also weak to paralysis. He's gonna die. There's no way I can get to him in time. No, damn it! I guess I should have just had everybody attack and maybe we could have gotten out of that in time. Oh well. Kenji's a ghost now. This set of hieroglyphs is believed to have been made around 4000 BC. No one has ever understood the contents because it's written in an unusual style with unusual characters. Won't you come closer and try to solve the puzzle of the ancient stone tablets? Well, apparently it's written in Delamese. Uh oh. Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Uh, Fox got the hieroglyph copy. Use it in your human civilization class. Ha ha ha. Whatever. I'm gonna get out of here now and go revive my friend Kenji. Okay, there's a phone. Uh, where's the desk lady? Do you want to get this? Desk lady? No, it's not my problem. I probably really should get that. Hello? Hello? Is this Mr. Fork of the Scaraba Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story, because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, from the Foresight Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. And he hung up on me. All right. Well, that's interesting, I guess. I need to find a hospital right now. That's kind of my main concern. Uh, Kenji. Kenji was just brought in and is still unconscious. Please pay $180 for the doctor's fee. Okay. I'm so glad that you recovered, Kenji. Come back anytime you need. Alright, we got that done. Yep, that is exactly why I went down here, to avoid that. Oh god, there's another one. Damned evil taxis. wonder if I have enough money to buy the good stuff yet. Might be enough. No, I think it's gonna be just short. Uh, 
Yeah, that's a little short. Need to kill a few more things first. And I think we need a break in the hotel here. Alright. talk to you. Is there anything new in the paper here, buddy? Nope. Why did I even ask? Did I talk to you? Yes, I did. You're the weirdo who thinks that H's shouldn't exist or whatever. Sleep? The sound of the ocean waves didn't disturb you, I trust. Um, probably not, no, because that's not a disturbing sound. You weird person. So apparently we need to go to Scaraba, but the guy in the Foreside Museum wants us to do something over there. Because he's got something important. Well, we're already here. Let's go see if we can find somebody to get us over to Scaraba, I guess. I think there was a guy with a boat somewhere around here. Speaking of boat, that's what he landed on, apparently. Uh, pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say, uh, fuzzy pickles. Even you, Asian kid. Fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Gee, I wonder if one of these boats is supposed to move. Thank you, you made my wife wake up. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken and experience getting seasick. After all, it could only cost you your life, and you got that for free! I like this guy's outlook on life. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. So, do you want to sail the seas to Scaraba? 20 bucks per person is fine with me. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this. Ready, we're reckless, baby. Bon voyage! I feel like this might be a suicide mission, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, oh, listen to that. Hmm. That is some sailing music. Oh, we get a nice little overworld. We have to go past, past a bunch of jungle islands, one of which looks like it has a castle on it. Wait! Wait, wait. I need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I was out on the open sea, so I feel seasick. Oh man, what am I going to do? A sailor who gets seasick? So how come you guys are alright? 
So, that bald guy over there. Your buddy, right? He came from Delam? You guys must be quite the adventurers. Aren't there times when you'd like to just go back home? So you're not some mama's boy. Well, it wouldn't hurt you to go back and visit once in a while. Haha, <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away! That was weird. There's a lot of runes on that one. And a volcano. And it got dark. Oh god, what is that? Here it comes! Oh god, it's the Kraken. They have released the Kraken! Everybody kill that thing! Oh god! Hey, it's kinda sort of vulnerable to freeze attacks. Not really. Has no weaknesses. Oh, that's good news. Uh, you don't really have any attacks that are gonna help us here, so I guess we'll just, uh... Can you hear the Kraken? That'd be amazing if you could. Oh god, it breathed fire. dead, guys, um, because we just got wrecked. And I don't remember... Oh. Never mind. Well. Oh, man. I thought you guys were just everyday little kids, but you defeated the Kraken. I also helped in the battle. I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. No, I was too busy, you know, noticing my dead companions. And I guess the boat's gone. Oh, here we go. The water's a different color over here. But it looks like we made it. Oh, it's kind of hot over here. Did you come from Toto by ship? There's a scary monster in the sea. Did you beat him? Or did you escape? Either way, you are fantastic. I need a hospital. Okay, good. Hospital. Need to see Neil. Pay two hundred dollars. And I need to see Kenji. This is a cozy little hospital, I guess. I don't know how exactly they were brought in. The Tenda tribe used to live here. They went to the back of the deep darkness as they were too innocent. I wonder if they are still alive. Welcome to the Great Southern International Resort Hotel. Our rooms range in price from $60 to $400 a night. Right now, though, we only have our super deluxe suite available. Would you like to stay? Please let us know if you find any scorpions. It's very unlikely that they will come out, but you never can tell. 
that's not making me especially thrilled about staying here, but okay. Good morning, good sir. Please allow me to read you from the local newspaper. The Scaraba Papyrus. Kraken, the evil sea monster, now gone forever. Well, there is some news here about him, and he just trails off, I guess. 3049! Alright, I think we might have enough. Nope, just short, of course. Damn, if only Kenji and Neil had survived, they could have gotten so much level off of that Kraken. Alright, what does this dude have? bunch of bombs and rockets, okay. I will need those, but right now I'm trying to save up enough money for the diamond band. Alright, well we're over in Scaraba. And the Kraken's dead. But I don't exactly remember if uh, I need to Hassan shop acceptable. Let's see what you have, Hassan. Welcome, welcome. Ah, the heat. Is your body okay? Can I interest you in some of my merchandise? Nope. If there's anything else I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Yes. So what more can I do for you? Why don't you buy something? I've got a family to feed. And I've got money to hold on to, so... Whatever. I like these guys. Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your foods at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What kind do you like? I'm gonna leave now, thanks. The snake bag can hold live snakes. There are snakes in the sack. Please, it is a very useful item. Shall you buy one? I am humbly offering it to you. No, because I don't know how much it is. You are afraid of snakes, are you not? <laughs> I bought a piggy nose. This will help out a large amount, while I am humbly searching for magic truffle in the deep darkness. You too can learn how to use a piggy nose with the use command under goods. So please rest easy. Oh, you have the mark of bad luck on your face. No, don't worry. If you want to know, I'll humbly tell you. You shall come back here after you have encountered a dangerous situation. However, I may be wrong, and if so, a thousand pardons. Okay. Hello there, welcome to my humble shop. How about some of our famous Scaraba delicacies? We carry a variety of things. What would you like? Got a bunch of fancy ethnic cuisine. The sun is merciless today, so please take care of yourself. If you've already got what you need, great. But if you don't, well, that would be a real shame. Take a good look at my menu and decide. Is there anything listed you might want? What would it be? Oh, he's got some new stuff. Cool. I can't remember if the platinum dance if the platinum band is worse than the diamond band, but I think it is. Apparently we can get a crystal charm. Crystal charm, you say? Who's going to carry this? The only person who can equip it? Nope. Oh, you're the seasoning guy, that's right. Don't want none of that. Poisonous snakes cost more. Why would a fine young man like you need one? Why would you need one? Should I keep a snake at home? Perhaps I should ASP an expert 
I'm Red Snake. Come on in. Kiss of fire. Armpit hair fertilizer. Yes! What is it you want to buy? Uh, I'm gonna avoid all of that. Oh no. You disappoint me. Man, this is just pun city over here, isn't it? Do you have a pun? Snakes are so unpleasant, but so cute. Oh, I don't know what I may be saying. I'm doing this as a hobby. Isn't it cool? I recently made a friend. He used to be a dungeon maker. And now he's a dungeon man. Would you like to meet him? Alrighty then. I, I'll give you the key so that you can enter him. Oh no, I don't have it. I must have lost it somewhere. I'm sorry, don't worry about small things. What if I say no? I understand. He's a very strange fellow. What's going on over here? Oh, be careful where you walk. It's filthy. A chubby kid did his business out here somewhere. Pretty sure I see it. Ew. Pokey Stink still hangs in the air. He pooped in the desert! That's so gross! I could have lived my entire life without seeing pixelated shit. No, I don't want any mummy bandages. No soliciting allowed, please. This is an interesting place. I like it. Hey, it's an old man who looks completely out of place. I've never seen you around here. What do you want? I do not have anything you would want. Must be an expat or something. If you're going to the pyramid, prepare well and be ready for whatever may occur. I don't know if I want to go to the pyramid yet. Well, we've explored this place. Maybe I should go to, uh... Maybe I should go to Foreside next. What do you think, Dad? You think I should go to Foreside? Or don't answer me, I guess. Whatever. Alright, well... I don't know, I think we're gonna go to Foresight and see what's going on over there.